Now, President Donald Trump is not happy about a new voting location opening in an L.A. suburb. Why? It's because there happens to be a large black population. Now, over the weekend, Donald Trump himself got involved in special election in California's 25th Congressional District. Now, this is a special election that is actually happening today on Tuesday. So now this was former Representative Katie Hill's seat. And there was a lot of national interest in this race. Uh, so, And it's because, of course, there were a lot of people running for this seat. Uh, Katie Hill, of course, had had resigned. Um, I'm not really going to get into the details of, of that story. Uh, but she was basically forced out by Pelosi, uh, who said what had happened had embarrassed the Democratic Party. Uh, so now she steps down. She endorses Christy Smith. Christy Stif Smith, of course, is the establishment candidate. Uh, and so you had people like Cenk Uger, uh that was running for that seat. He obviously did not win. Uh, he, got, he got crushed by the establishment, and, and we'll be honest, and he was honest about that as well. Uh, you also had a crazy race in the Republican side with George Papadopoulos. And at one time, Mike Cernovich was also considering running. I, again, crazy race, right? A lot of different people on, on different sides. Uh, and so now, you know, that primary uh, is essentially over. Uh, and now you have Chrissy Smith versus Mike Garcia. So now Gavin Newsom was uh, governor of California. He decided that now that we're having an election, uh, that he would open up a new polling site in Lancaster that's north of L.A. Now, this is something actually that both parties have been asking for. And now Trump, because of this, is going to throw a fit. So he tweeted this. In California, the Democrats who fought like crazy to get all mail-in-only ballots and succeeded, have just opened a voting booth in the most Democrat area in the state. They're trying to steal another election. It's all rigged out there. These votes must not count. Scam. Hmm. So I guess the only votes that should count are, are Republican votes, right? Well, if that's the case, then actually Lancaster would be a perfect area for Donald Trump. It's actually considered more of a, uh, uh, the 25th district is more of a purple district. Uh, but nonetheless, in Lancaster, they elected three Republicans, including the mayor, Rex Paris, who was in favor of this. So now uh, Democrats, local Democrats said, hey, look, we understand there's, there's COVID-19, right? Uh, but black voters need a place to go if they decide that they want to go in person, right? We at least need to have that option since we closed a lot of other polling places as a result of coronavirus, Rex Paris was like, sure, yeah. In fact, here's the statement. Quote, this is something the county should fix immediately. Paris told in local news outlet last week, there should not even be the appearance of affecting the outcome by limiting the ability to vote. Did I tell you that that guy's a Republican? I'm pretty sure I mentioned that. So now, how many polling places were shut down, by the way, uh, due to coronavirus? Well, normally there's about 100. In this case, there's only about 13. But that's okay because most people have mail-in ballots. And so that's a, that's a good thing, right? I want all mail-in voting. And they actually made sure, Gavin Newsom had made sure, that everyone was mailed a ballot. So now, again, when, when it comes to Donald Trump and when it comes to many Republicans, not all, but many Republicans, um, they say, well, uh, vote by mail is not secure, uh, at least a lot of voter fraud. And if it happens, and this is what Trump admitted, uh, that, you know, uh, th th this is a situation where a Republican could never get elected again if we have easy voting. He's saying the loud part. I'm sorry, he's saying the quiet part out loud. Now, Newsom, as I said before, he already put out these mail-in ballots and Donald Trump's tweet addressed that as well, uh, saying that, that oh, the, that's the fraud, that, that's the fraud. Okay, uh, so now here's the thing. Trump and, and, and many Republicans, as I said, um, do think that there's lots of fraud, but not all of them. Some actually are making the argument that we should do all mail-in voting as a result of coronavirus. So uh, people like Christian Leinbach, who's a Republican official who's in favor of this, uh, he told the Philadelphia Inquirer that his own party's arguments uh, are outweighed by the public health crisis, quote, I'm a conservative Republican, 
I have conservative Republican friends who believe that's a really bad idea. I don't. I believe we need to make voting in the current health crisis as safe as possible. And so, of course, mail-in voting. Now, here's the thing. There's there's actually little evidence that, that mail-in voting increases the amount of voter fraud. In fact, it's actually really safe and secure, so much so that our, our, our military members use it all the time. The, the millions of votes are cast by mail. So it's fine. Now, I think that mail-in voting should be an option all the time. And most Americans agree. Most Democrats agree, right? Now, what's funny is that they actually polled some people, right? And they polled Republicans, and a lot of Republicans agree, unless for one thing and one thing only, one factor. The ones who watch Fox News are more, um, say they're more against voting by mail. If you watch Fox News, you are generally against it. I mean, it's of course because Fox News lies all the time, all the time uh, about, of course, voter fraud. Uh, and so they, of course, echo the president or is the president echoing Fox News? It's the chicken and the egg problem, really, uh, because both of them feed into each other. And so they both say voting by mail is bad. We should not do a vote by mail, even though we're in the middle of a pandemic. And of course, outside of a pandemic, because it's just not going to work. It's not secure, et cetera. When there's no factual information to back that up. But back to Trump and the other reason that he's against putting up this voting booth. So since he shoots down the vote by mail ID and says it's terrible, well, you should at least be in favor of them putting up another voting uh, uh, polling place, right? Especially when coronavirus has shut down so many. Oh, but his problem is, well, it's in the black area. There's too many blacks uh, that are going to vote. We, we can't have voting uh, things. We can't have voting booths there or polling places. Well, again, that's admitting the quiet part out loud. He doesn't want black people voting. Yes. And it's because he's an old school racist. And he knows, like the Republican Party knows, that generally when black people uh, vote, they tend to, not all the time, of course, but they tend to vote more Democratic. Now, the reason for that isn't because the Democrats are necessarily better when it comes to black issues. I mean, I mean, you look at you know economic issues in the black community, it's not so great, right? But Democrats don't punch black people in the face. I'm not saying literally, they're figuratively, right? Like the Republican Party does. And so, yeah, they're going to go with the people that don't punch them in the face. Because at least it's slightly better. But again, the Democrats have issues, uh, you know, especially in addressing the economic situation inside of black neighborhoods. Um, but at least, again, they're not figuratively punching them in the face. And so, but as far as Trump is concerned, Trump, he's against democracy. He's against democracy because he doesn't believe in democracy. And it's because, like a lot of Republicans have noted, going all the way back with Paul Weyrich and the goo goo syndrome, right? Um, that the more people vote, the less likely it is, and the easier time people having uh, have you know are able to vote, the less chances there are of a Republican to win an office. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm gonna have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc. We're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show, you know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron patreon.com slash tyt nation that goes a long way to help us keep the lights on and you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media